20% chance of that being the skyscape at Headingley this afternoon, but for most people this will not be the case. Indeed, it should be generally fine, with a bit of a westerly breeze. This is what I think most of you will be seeing as of the, the view just the northwest of London. Blue or white skies, a bit of light cloud. And that's the case for much of England and Wales, and increasingly so for western Scotland and Northern Ireland. But as you can see, the radar is detecting a line of showers not far away from Leeds, and outbreaks of light rain still over Scotland. And that's the condition at the moment. But in general, the cloud is breaking, and that will allow enough heat through to give one or two sharp showers, mostly on the eastern side of England this afternoon, lighter ones further west where pressure is now building. Possibly the odd heavy one as the sun breaks in the highlands of Scotland as well. It's a nice warm day, 23 to 25, that's about 77 Fahrenheit. A bit cooler on the coast, and nothing like as humid as last week. Not particularly breezy either, because pressure is building now, but that's going to change rather dramatically tomorrow, at least for the western part of the country. This low is winding up significantly, and there it is, tomorrow lunchtime. Overnight then, fairly fresh night, 10 to 13 degrees. Increasing winds though for Cornwall, for Northern Ireland, North Channel and Western Scotland, by dawn. The weather that greets us though should be fine. It's the first day I think of glorious Goodwood on Tuesday, and it looks like being glorious throughout Tuesday for much of England, Wales, and probably Eastern Scotland. But for Northern Ireland, rain will be in during the morning, strong southerly winds, a lot of mist on the coast and on the hills. And that rain will progress across much of Scotland, across the Irish Sea and the Isle of Man into much of Wales during the afternoon, leaving hopefully brighter weather for Northern Ireland, but still with the strong wind. Now, fairly obviously, it's still going to be warm on the eastern side. In fact, it might even feel quite hot with increasing uh, humidity, but it is going to be fairly breezy on the western side of the country. Moving a little bit further ahead, the front goes through on Wednesday, but still the story is a fair amount of wind. In fact, that should be there on and off until Friday, wind the story this week. But the rain will be mostly confined to northern Britain.